everyone's so happy in the audience because we're in the kitchen with Chef Bianca Osborne making tacos. Whee! We're making tacos. What's for dinner tonight, Mom? Tacos. No one is disappointed. No one. And you know what? We're making tacos easier than they've ever been before. Okay. All right. So we're baking our tacos. And so often when you make tacos, you make all the accoutrements, and then everyone kind of comes and assembles. Yeah. But if you're, you know, the parent of the house, you might be doing all the assembling. This is an easy way to sort of, like, make it, and then they're grab and go. Okay. Now, let me talk to you about this pan. There's something okay. on the pan right there. So there is, is just paper? parchment underneath. Parchment. Okay, good. Um, you don't need the parchment, though, if you assemble them neatly. Yeah then it won't come out. That's not going to happen in my house. Okay, well, you need the parchment, Then I need the parchment. Okay. So what we're going to take is just some refried beans, and you can get these in a can, and we're going to put that at the bottom layer. And what's great about this recipe, Marilyn, is that all of this stuff is convenience products. That is a uh, roasted chicken that we yeah. just picked up from the grocery store. These refried beans come in the can, and so it's, like, easy to put together. You can make it tonight. You really could. You could break it tonight. Um, and so just the refried beans on the bottom like that. And really this is just to heat everything up mm -hmm. because everything's already cooked. So we put those on like that. Yeah. And then we have our chicken. So my hands are clean. But yeah, Just the rotisserie like chicken is good, isn't it? Like, I love it. You yeah. know what? The only thing I say to people is that if you are, you know, looking out for gluten, just be careful that what they rub it in doesn't oh. have gluten in it. Because that can make people react. Because oh, oh, they think, oh. oh, it's just chicken. But it might be the spices have gluten in them. Yeah. So yeah. just check. Just ask. And then you keep, when, when uh, you know, once all the meat's off, you keep like three or four of the Bob Bloom was saying the other day. Put it in the freezer. Yes. And then you can have great uh, uh, broth. Oh, my God. B b broth. And yeah. you can make it for soups, sauces. So then you just take, like, a cheese. You can use pepper jack, um, cheddar, really anything, Monterey. Which is already cut for you. This is so easy. I know. So easy. And all of these things you can get in the bag pre-shredded. Sure. And so if you want to make your life easier, this is the recipe to do it. Yep. And then we're just going to drizzle with a little bit of oil just so that our it's chicken like doesn't oil? dry out. This is canola oil. Canola. We want something that's a little bit neutral okay. as okay. opposed to something that's going to be, like, olive oil flavored. Gotcha. All right. Got you, got you. So then we're going to bake it bake in a it. 375 oven. This is when, this is the meal that you make, everyone, as you know. What, whoops, those kids are playing next door. This is the meal that you make when you just don't want any grief from your children. Like, right, you've had a long day. Perhaps you've gone back to work. The kids <laughs> are at school. And you want everyone to be happy, Okay. So how long is that going in for? That's going in for about 15, 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. Just while we put together our salsa. Let's do it. So the thing about convenience products is we want to brighten it up with something that's fresh, but you also want it to be easy because we want to make this tonight. Right. And so this tomato salsa is made with cherry tomatoes because we're going to take them, put them in between oh the two like lips of the bottom let me, of a plate. Let me get this. All right. Thanks, Marilyn. You're my sous chef. We want it to be pretty. Always, okay. always about the aesthetic. So in between the two plates and the lip, just like that, and you put it on top and just apply a little bit of pressure and Heck. it's going to cut right through. It's life-changing. It is life-changing. And if it gets a little bit messy, don't worry about it. We're having fun here. And then you just put it back in. There you in go. Like that. Uh-huh. And you just want to flip a few around as you do this because you want to get slices on the other side. Uh-huh. So just like that. And you can also use um, plastic, like, storage containers yeah, as well. Yeah, I've done that with that. Yeah, yeah, it's good. That's a little bit easier than this. I saw that on this, the TikTok, but... as my mother would say. On then... The <laughs> then we go just into the bowl like that. And then the really it's just... There's something about this that you're making, too. It's fresh. It's fresh. And yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like, a lot of convenience products, they need a little bit of brightening. You kind of have to add a little something to yeah, it. Yeah. And something like this salsa that's easy to make takes just as long as it takes for those to finish baking. And then you just... What you putting in there now? So then we've got some onion. Uh-huh. Always with the onion. We've got some oil. Again, something neutral. We have some lemon lime juice. Are you talking about fish, is it canola oil again? Canola oil, okay. vegetable oil. Okay. Just because olive oil, especially extra virgin olive oil, yeah. does have a flavor and it, it does. can be kind of bossy. We okay. don't want it to boss around. Okay. Then we have some jalapenos, some cilantro. We leave this all for you, Marilyn. That's okay. And then we just I I just go with the stir that about. I'm just gonna get some salt. Nice. Make sure you season it. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to sit 
as and as it sits, it's just going to get more and more flavorful. Beautiful. And so it's time to assemble. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice and fresh. It's all about freshness, Marilyn. So do you need room here? Hang on. I'm helping. Thanks, Marilyn. Listen. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to keep this over <laughs> here. Okay, okay, you put that right there. All right, yeah. Hi, we're doing a TV show. That's this, what is, we're doing. this is teamwork, and it yeah. makes what? The yeah. dream work. There you go. Yes. And then so for the garnish, again, to make things fresh, again, because this was baked, and a lot of this, you know, kind of looks a little bit beige still, but we're going to brighten it up now. Here you go. So then we have just some, like, sliced nice. avocado. You're going to put that on. That's each nice. Piece like that. And this is the part that is, like, fun. And also, it's like, okay, we made the tacos. Someone doesn't like avocado, leave that one blank. Yeah. Someone doesn't like tomato salsa, leave that blank. Just like that. Yeah. See, that person doesn't like avocado, so they don't get it. Obviously. And then a little <laughs> bit of scallion. Mm -hmm. Going to brighten that up as well. Beautiful. Someone doesn't like scallion. Yeah. What we're going to do, leave it off. I was this kid. Oh, leave no. everything off. Oh, no. Every, everything I ate was beige when <laughs> I was a kid. And a little bit of cilantro again. But we also have some cilantro inside the yeah. salsa, so you don't need to go too heavy. But mm. I happen to be unlike Marilyn Dennis, and I love it. Good. And then, now look how pretty this is going to look. And then you just look layer at it that. on like That's that. That's great. And That's it's got so like fast. nice big chunks, so it's like really got a lot of Nessie. texture. Nessie's Nessie. good. How long was it in the oven again? At what time? About ten to twelve minutes. At what time? Uh, three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. Okay. Uh, just until everything is warmed up. Every yeah. oven runs at its own clip. Yeah. You just want to make sure that it's like warmed through, so that all these like fresh toppings are on some, like a bed of like. And where do the limes come in? I see freshly cut limes. Are we having some margaritas, We're or going... what's happening? Oh well, Marilyn, always margaritas at mine. Always margaritas at mine. And then we just squeeze. Nice. You could squeeze it into a glass of margarita if you'd like. <laughs> and then we just, you know, so you, you put go. it on the table. And then also what makes it easy too, Marilyn, is that you just serve it like this. Take it to the table and people eat out of this. Bravo. Audience, what do they think? Make that tonight. Who doesn't want to make it? Who doesn't like stuff from the <laughs> can? I like that. So if you'd like to make these tacos for dinner tonight, it's so easy to do. Thanks to Chef Bianca Osborne. Go to Maryland.ca for the recipe. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. That smell good, too. Okay, we got to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>